The 4th of July weekend is almost here, and as much as everyone looks forward to the fun-filled holiday, we do want to keep safety top of mind. If an accident happens, we do have a level 2 trauma center right here in our own backyard. Terry DeWeese is the Director of Trauma Services at Novant joining us this morning. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for the opportunity to be here. So let's first of all, people take this for granted what a trauma center is and why it's important it's right here in our backyard. Well, we are very fortunate to have a level two mm -hmm. uh, trauma center. We are verified by the American College of Surgeons, which is the accrediting agency for trauma centers and then designated by the state of North Carolina. So we um, have standards that we have to meet, uh, types of surgeons, types of other subspecialists, orthopedic surgeons, uh, cardiac surgeons, et cetera, to make sure that we have top level care for patients that experience accidents and injuries. We're obviously in the middle of the 90s, which is not unusual because it is the summer in, in uh, North Carolina, um, but we also have some other things to worry about with the holiday weekends. Sure. Typical injuries or not really? Um, we see the typical stuff on holiday weekends, traffic accidents, you know, uh, as we all know, our population in this area goes way up because yeah. people wanna, you know, people wanna come and enjoy our beaches. Mm -hmm. So traffic is bad, firework injuries, water sports injuries. Um, we all know that alcohol does not mix with water, but we right. all, you know, we all like to uh, in indulge a little bit. So we have to be careful. Have a designated boat or, or boat pilot, just like you have a designated read, driver. Read the manual, right? <laughs> read the manual. Yeah. There's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, and we do. We have ambulances on standby. We have our um, critical care transport. So Air Link, our, we have three helicopters in the region. We have one up in Jacksonville one at Brunswick uh, Medical Center in Bolivia and one stationed on the campus at Columbus Regional. To get people here as quickly as possible. And we only have a few seconds left. Sure. But let's talk about reiterating when you were shaking your head up and down. Senior citizens, drink, 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 drink over the next couple of days. Absolutely, and drink water. Yeah. Um, iced tea doesn't cut it. Iced tea doesn't cut it. Um, alcohol certainly doesn't mm -hmm. cut it. Both of those will dehydrate you. Elderly folks are not as sensitive to thirst as younger people, and so you really need to be drinking yeah. your water when you're outside. I live with my 80-year-old mother. I brought her into town, and I say that all the time. She's like, I'm not thirsty. I was like, that's not the that's point. That's okay, right? Mom. Drink anyway. Well, there yep. you go. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.